Hey what's up guys it's Bjorn from Jurassic Park Traps and today I got an update for you guys on the hatching tank. Um, the Cancroformus Mauritanicus are actually doing really well. They are feeding on some bloodworms right now. Really funny little guys just swimming around a little bit with their little worms inside their mouth. Just take a little look. <laughs> they just swim around with their meal. It's really funny actually. Beautiful tiny little guys. So, uh, I also got two hatcheries set up and um, this is a new one, this is an older one. We're gonna take a look at the older one first. There is some albino cancroformers inside again. I really wanted to do some uh, albino cancroformers again on the main tank. Hey, there is a little guy. And there should be a bigger one as well. Let's see if we can spot him. Oh, there he is, running in the back. Oh, there he is. This one actually has quite a big one inside it as well. Uh, I have no clue why this guy actually grow, has grown so fast compared to the other ones. For instance, this little guy in the front is from the same generation. Like, he's really tiny and uh, the other one is really big already. I need to do a water change on the hatchery tomorrow as well. It's kind of a little bit blurry. So it's time to do a water change on this one. Uh, on the other hatchery, inside the other hatchery, I'm sorry, uh, there are Nopoli spawning actually. It's really fun. Let's take a look at the little guys. There they are. Some actually haven't made it. I saw three dead ones already. Um, this unfortunately happens sometimes, but there are still some alive, so I will just wait several days and see um, what the survival of the fittest has brought me on this batch. So there is a bunch of little Nopoli inside this hatching container. Really happy with it. Uh, I hope there is, there will be like a group of about 12 of them. Uh, I should have about four of them inside this hatchery. So if I get 12 extra, I would have 16. And that will be a great number for the main tank. So they are just happily bouncing around. They have just hatched. Um, I don't feed them the first uh, two or three days. Um, if you don't have detritus or an oxygen plant inside your hatchery, you can also feed them some uh, spirulina algae powder. But um, I can definitely advise to never feed the first 24 hours because Triops Nopoli are then inside the naive state of mind, which actually means if they got access to a lot of food, they can actually overeat themselves to death. So never first, never feed the first 24 hours after hatching. If you're using some oxygen plants and some detritus, which is basically some leaf litter that has been in touch with some old aquarium water, um, you can also um, use the spirit in but I mainly use an oxygen plant and some leaves because I found that this method really works really well. Inside the hatching container there is some boiled rainwater just to make sure the uh, natural parameters are there. And of course there is some organic material inside the hatchery already so there actually is going to be a um, bacterial growth inside the hatchery which will be beneficial for the triops. Nopolis. Nopoli. I'm not sure if it's Nopolis or Nopoli. Whatever. You get what I mean. Oh, little bouncing little fellas. I hope all of them will survive, actually. Um, like, I've been doing this for a while now, and I still uh, have some deaths occasionally. But it's kind of normal with triops. 
uh, they can actually be a little bit fragile sometimes but on the other hand they live in temporary rain pools outside in the hot burning deserts in nature so I would say they are pretty hardy creatures as well they are so tiny and can you imagine like in two weeks these tiny beeping dots will be at this size probably it's crazy they are both cancriformis species but uh, this is the cancriformis mauritanicus which is basically a uh, cancriformis mauritanicus uh, combo uh, it's not like a full cancriformis species but it's not the full mauritanicus species as well so it's like uh, it should be like in between so that's why it's called uh, cancriformis mauritanicus and not mauritanicus mauritanicus but it's an interesting species they have quite a cool color they're pretty dark and um, well I really like them I should have used a lighter color of gravel on this tank, but it's fine. I can still spot them. And we can still have a look at them. This species is also pretty active, by the way. They are always like really fast, moving around, trying to find some food, digging around, swimming around with their food. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. But hey, pretty cool critters, if you ask me. <laughs> Fun, tiny little creatures. So guys, um, that's about it. Um, this is, was just a video about the uh, cankerformis um, hatching. The little guys are doing fine. The new little guys are doing fine. And the uh, just spawned babies are doing fine as well. But I did have like three deaths. So... Let's hope the other 12 or 20 that I can spot will survive this time. Hope to see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Triassic Park Triops on YouTube. So hope to see you next time, guys. Have a nice evening or a nice day.